It's 11.19 p.m. right now, and I feel like it's only around 7 or 8 p.m., maybe not even. Look how light the sky is. I don't know what's going on. It definitely does not feel like it's after 11 p.m. because the sky is so light right now. It's really kind of weird. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. It's 8 a.m. Look who's sleeping under that Christmas tree. It's Simba. So I noticed that a lot of the bottom branches have been starting to droop a little bit, which is odd because I've only had the tree for maybe like two weeks. Usually it stays pretty good by then. Usually around three or four weeks it might start drooping. So I don't know how old these trees were um, before I bought them. But there's Simba. And here's Stella. Hello Stella, good morning. And this is what's going on outside. So it looks like we did not get the 12 to 18 inches that was originally predicted. It looks like we only got another two inches after um, I went outside with the snow blower last night. Maybe another three inches. So maybe we got about eight inches of snow. Hopefully we won't be getting any more today. It is about 12, 10 p.m. and I'm just about to go outside and clear off more snow. And it's a good thing I cleared off what I did yesterday because I just stepped outside and the snow is up to like the door. If I had not cleared off what I cleared off, uh, the snow would be five or six inches higher than the door. So I don't even know if I'd be able to get this door open. So. See this, the door just about opens and then it hits some snow. Before I start cleaning out this snow, I just want to take a look at it to see if I notice any animal tracks in it, like from Hydrox or anyone. I don't see any tracks going to and from the feeder. And even to the shelter, I don't really see any tracks. I see Hydrox in the shelter. So Hydrox is in the shelter. Can you see him through the window? And if I walk over here to the side, I don't see any tracks either. I don't see anything. And then here over on this side, I don't see any tracks. I'm shoveling a path to the shelter so Hydrax could walk out if he wants. And he's been watching me through the window. He's just watching me from his comfy place inside the warm shelter. He really loves that window. So right now I'm on the driveway and there's tracks on the driveway tracks on the driveway coming through through to the yard and let's follow these tracks where are they going we're going over here going behind the bushes toward the house then they came like along the house and then they went under here where I have some solar panels set up and I don't know if they just hung out there for a while it's kind of weird because I didn't see any tracks um, like up here, so I don't know where they went. Actually, it looks like they might have just turned around and went back out this way. And here's Hydrox, he came out of the shelter. I guess he wants to get some fresh air, see what's going on, maybe he's looking for some food. His paws are filthy. I'm really afraid to, uh, see what's in that shelter. I talked to, uh, Grandma and Grandpa this morning and they said, I should get some of those like wee wee pads and put a whole bunch of wee wee pads in that shelter if he is going to be doing that in the shelter. There's no way to stop him from doing that. I'm not putting a litter box out here for him. I mean, he has pretty much the world to use as a litter box and I'm not going to be scooping a litter box for him because, you know, chances are he has some kinds of worms or parasites even if I do give him uh, occasional uh, deworming drops. Um, you know, he's living outside, he's eating all kinds of things, and I don't need to contaminate, potentially contaminate myself by scooping a litter box um, out here 
and then dealing with the litter box inside also. It's really hard for me to look at his paws being as dirty as they are. Here's Hydrox, he's been walking around in the snow, which is what I want him to do because it'll clean off some of that mess that's all over his paws. I just finished snow blowing everything, now I have to go shovel the remainder and when, when I get back I'll, I'll give Hydrox some food. He has a ton of dry food in the automatic feeder, so if he wants to eat, he can eat. I just found this package of Wee Wee pads downstairs. Uh, this is the package that I had bought for Boo because every time he has to go uh, to the vet, like every time he goes for a car ride in the carrier, he usually poops in it. So I bought these uh, for easier cleanup. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and see if I could get into the cat shelter. I'm gonna have to uh, uh, take it out from under the house and I'm also going to have to, uh, I just realized I'm going to have to dig out the garbage cans, which I think are buried in snow, and um, open it up, see what's going on in there. I have uh, a big pair of like uh, latex gloves, you know, like dishwashing gloves in the garage. I want to put those on. I just, I don't want to get the inside cat sick. You know, if Hydrox has worms or some kind of issue, I don't want to infect the inside cats with it, so I just I have to be really careful. I just opened this cat shelter, and here's what's going on in here. This towel is filthy, and this is filthy also. This is a piece of rug in here. Um, this is actually a plush blanket over the heated pet mat. And I'm just trying to think, can I put a wee wee pad over the heated pet mat? Because the wee wee pad has like plastic on it. And I don't know if that is going to melt. All right, let me show you what's going on here. It's pretty nasty. So I took out the piece of carpet that was on the bottom and I'm gonna replace it with this other piece. These are from the Dollar Tree, they're a dollar each, and I bought some extras when we were setting this up, and it's a good thing I did, so this should go back in the bottom where the carpet was. And there it is, it fits pretty good. And then this is the big problem. So this is the heated pet mat. This is what happened. Um, I don't know if Hydrox peed on it, I don't know um, what, but it's like really wet, and it's gone through. It went through the fleece, which was kind of stuck to this, and this is just really, really bad. Um, part of me wants to just disconnect this and get rid of it. I might have an extra heated pet mat downstairs. I don't know if it's going to be the same size, uh, but I'm going to go see. That would be the, the best solution for me would just be to kind of replace this. Let me see if I have another one. I look downstairs and I do have another one of these heated pet mats. Uh, this one is smaller, however, it's not as large as the one that's currently in the shelter. But I think that should be okay, because if we look at the stains on this one, he pretty much just laid in the middle of it anyway, and this smaller one might fit better. I actually found, like, an extra cover that I had downstairs. I don't know what this cover's from. Um, some kind of cat bed. Um, so I, I put the Electrosoft with the original cover that comes with it inside of this additional cover and I'm gonna put this in the shelter and I'm gonna get rid of this this old one okay let me show you what's going on here now so not only did I you know change the carpet and the heating pad I just installed one of the outside cameras so this is um, one of the cameras that I had on the other shelter um, when we used to watch Hydrox's live stream in the other shelter. When I bought the set of cameras, it comes with like six or eight cameras, and I have two out, I have two in use so far, and so I just got a new one from inside, and I connected it to the frame of this shelter, and now, actually, I think I might have made a mistake. I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the top of the shelter on. Actually, the top does go on. I just got really lucky. For some reason, when Grandpa made the top, there was just enough space to fit uh, that camera in there. So um, what I did was I screwed the camera onto the frame of the shelter. Um, the camera has three screws, but I figure it only needs one screw to hold it there because it's in a cat shelter. I mean, I don't think they're gonna be able to tear out the one screw. Hopefully not. So. 
Um, I'm gonna put this back inside. I just checked the footage and it looks like we have a really good view of the cat shelter, at least half of it, at least the half that Hydrax hangs out in on the heated pet mat. The other half you really can't see with the camera, but that's to be expected. The other thing that I just did is reattached uh, another door here. I don't have the uh, clear shower curtain that I used before. I can't find it. Um, so I just took a Ziploc bag. It's a quart size Ziploc bag. I actually put a slit down the middle of it so it's easier for him to come and go. It's just something to cut some of the uh, airflow. All right, and there we have it all cleaned up, new and improved. So there is the camera wire coming out of this vestibule and then the heated pet mat wire coming out of the other side. I hope that heated pet mat works. It should, it's never been used before. Um, so yeah. All right, it's 2.36 p.m. right now. I just came inside. I finished everything that I have to do outside. And I also gave Hydrax some food on that plate. Gave him a whole bunch of canned food. And he's sitting here cleaning himself right now, which is a very good thing. That's what I would like him to do the rest of this afternoon is hang out like on the back step or somewhere in the sun and just kind of dry off, clean himself up. Um, so the weather has warmed up enough that the snow is starting to melt, which is good. Um, so hopefully he'll just hang out, clean himself up before he goes back into that brand new, nicely cleaned cat shelter. I just looked out the window and saw this. That looks like Ditto based on the hind legs. He was coming out of the woods. It's 9.22 a.m. I just opened the back door so I could go give Hydrax some water and some food and Simba has to go check it out. It is 12.10 p.m. and I just gave Hydrax some food. It's some canned food with some of those meaty stick type snacks that the inside cats had today. I hope he eats it because I don't think he's eaten anything since I gave him a meal yesterday afternoon. So I did put food in the heated kitty cafe earlier today in the larger bowl. And there's still food in the smaller bowl from yesterday. And I put water in the water bowl. And there was a lot of dry food in the feeder. I've never seen that much dry food in the bowl of the automatic feeder. So Hydrax has a lot of food to choose from. I hope he eats. Um, he's been on live stream since yesterday and he did not leave the shelter at all, like all night uh, or all morning. It's 12.30 p.m. and look who just showed up. It's Ditto. I just put a cover on that food because it's gonna freeze if it just stays out there. And then I looked and Ditto walked up to the food. So I took the cover off of it and he can eat it if he wants to. I saw him earlier today walking back from the woods. I believe it was him. The hind legs look like him. So maybe he'll go in the shelter with Hydrox. Hydrox is in the shelter right now. There's still plenty of food in the automatic feeder and the heated kitty cafe and everything, so. It looks like he's doing good. Came by to say hello. He's on his rounds today. He probably already ate like three meals. Hydrox is eating his second big breakfast of the day. So I was looking at the live stream this morning and I saw that he got up at 6 a.m. He went over to the feeder and he ate some of the food that was in the heated kitty cafe and then he ate some of the dry food in the feeder but i guess he really didn't eat much um so i gave him some warmed up cat food i don't know about 10 15 minutes ago and he ate all of it and the way i warm it up is i just uh, boil some water and i pour the hot water in the food just to uh, uh bring the temperature up a little bit i'm not a fan of using a microwave so that's why i do it that way and then he was hanging out by the back door taking a bath and he started meowing so i just gave him some more food and this should be plenty for him i mean this is a lot of food um, as well as what he just ate but he seems to like to eat one big meal a day and then he just goes back in the shelter and he really likes just staying warm in the shelter and hibernating and it is winter time and you know that's what animals do in the winter they just kind of hunker down and hibernate for the winter uh, even though cats uh, go out and hunt prey in the winter, 
uh, they do like to just find a warm place and just spend a lot of time there so uh, hopefully Hydrox will eat this food and then go back in the shelter uh, my hope is also that he does not use the shelter as a litter box um, so so far he hasn't um, it's been a few days and he hasn't used it as a litter box yet so let's continue to hope that he does his business outside somewhere um, and it's difficult because the ground's frozen so um, but there are there are plenty of places for him to do his business outside um, his paws are still really filthy but so are dittos and I did put some toys in his shelter so there are four toys in his shelter I gave him one of Simba's pom-poms I gave him a crinkle ball I gave him a piece of candy one of the candy toys and I gave him a toy mouse and I've never seen Hydrax play with toys before and he's always been pretty much immune to catnip so it'll be an experiment to see if he pays any attention to them um, if he plays with them or what. Thank you for watching this Lucky Ferals video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.